For our first problem on distinguishable permutations and combinations, we're going to choose an easy problem that will hopefully highlight the difference between regular permutations and distinguishable permutations. Just a little recap, regular permutations are, say I have nine students, how many ways can I line them up from first to last? Well, that would be nine factorial. Well, here in this problem, I have nine tiles, three blue and six red. That is, there are some that are the same type. How many ways can I rearrange them? Well, obviously, our first intuition is, well, nine tiles, line them up in order. There are nine factorial ways that I could line them up in order. But several of those are going to be repetitions. So we need to figure out a way to take away those repetitions from that nine factorial. So the total number, nine factorial. And when we want to take away, we divide. So we're taking away three blue. So the number of ways that three could rearrange itself is three factorial. And the number of ways that the red tiles could cancel each other out or be equivalent is six factorial. Now we've done some, some factorial dividing in the past. In fact, this looks exactly like something like nine choose three or nine choose six, and it is. How many ways can I choose six elements from a set of nine elements? But let's calculate it as follows. Nine factorial over six factorial is nine times eight times seven all over 3 times 2. Now, 6 doesn't go into any of these, so we have to break it up piece by piece. The 3 goes into the 9 to become a 3. The 2 goes into the 8 to become a 4. So we have 3 times 4 times 7, which is 84. So there are 84 ways that I could rearrange 9 tiles of 3 blue and 6 red such that we don't really care about the repetition.